हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बाजरा वाई एस अकेडमी इंटरव्यू गाइडेंस प्रोग्राम सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर प्रिलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज योर इंटरव्यू एज वेल सो दिस इज विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू काला काला दान प्रोजेक्ट ओके सो काला दान मल्टी मॉडल टर्मिनल प्रोजेक्ट काला दान मल्टी मॉडल मल्टी मॉडल टर्मिनल प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस प्रोजेक्ट वॉज लॉन्च बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया नो वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ लॉन्चिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो इफ आई कैन से दिस कालादान प्रोजेक्ट इज लॉन्च बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एज पार्ट ऑफ एनहैंसिंग कनेक्टिविटी टू नॉर्थ ईस्ट एनहैंसिंग कनेक्टिविटी connectivity to india's northeast so it is very often considered as isolated isolated region with less infrastructure with less connectivity or infrastructure or infrastructure so since northeast considered as the gateway for india's access to southeast asia india's access to southeast asia north east considered as a gateway so because of this reason the government has been coming up with number of measures so that will provide access to india's north east now apart from that development of north east is very important for a country like india so development of north east so it has a lot of potential with respect to the economic growth and economic development so apart from that the government of india also wanted to link the north east india with the rest of the india so therefore it has been exploring more and more options to improve connectivity improve connectivity gradually so one such project which essentially aimed at improving connectivity to north east from kolkata from kolkata so uh, it is on the eastern part of uh, india so near to bay of bengal so this kaladan project essentially links kolkata with the sitwe port that is in myanmar's rakhine state okay so recently rakhine state is in news okay so rakhine state is in news why it is in news it is primarily because of the expulsion of rohingyas expulsion of rohingyas rohingya muslim minorities from the rakhine state in myanmar okay so now there was an army called arakan salvation army arakan salvation army so this has been fighting against the state for the rights of these rohingya muslim minorities okay so this is the brief background of this kaladan project so why it is in news this kaladan project is recently in news so one of the official from myanmar said that the kaladan project has almost died after the rebel arakan army has captured the palitwa township near the mizoram border in january 2014 so this is what the official has said now if you look at the sitwe port location sitwe port location so it is in the palitwa township so since the arakan army has captured this palitwa township so the official has said that the sitwe that this kaladan project has almost died now if you look at the map so how we would access northeast so we would access northeast through sea route okay so through sea route so first the goods would be carried out from kolkata to sitwe port okay so from the sitwe port to mizoram okay so from sitwe port to mizoram so there will be a transit route so this entire project is called as kaladan multi modal terminal project that has been launched by government of india in collaboration with the myanmar government so we all know that now military had taken over military had taken over the government in myanmar and there is a civil war which has been taking place in myanmar so therefore how reliable this kaladan multi modal terminal project in accessing northeast this is what we need to discuss this is what we need to talk about is it sustainable in the long term for india to explore such alternative routes 
where the countries have been facing a lot of instability okay so this kaladan multimodal transit transport project was launched under the framework agreement in the year 2008 so please remember so this project was launched under the framework agreement in the year 2008 so this was launched between the ministry of external affairs as well as the government of myanmar now please remember a uh, sitwe port is part of the kaladan multimodal transit transport project and it is between government of india and government of myanmar and essentially focuses on providing connectivity between india and myanmar now if we can speak uh, more specifically so this is essentially to extend connectivity to northeast essentially extend connectivity to northeast especially mizoram okay so now india has been exploring multiple options even japan india has been cooperating with the japan for the development of northeast okay so japan in fact is the only country where india is partnered for the development of northeast so such a huge significance we have for the northeast and apart from that to connect the port of kolkata in the uh, this kaladan multimodal transit transport project we can we collect connect kolkata with a port of sitwe now if you look at the map carefully so we connect the kolkata with the sitwe port as i have already told you earlier so from the sitwe to the mizoram there will be a transit route or uh, by road uh, then it will be connected with the northeast okay so it connects kolkata with the sitwe port and this sitwe port is in the rakhine state so which then could be connected to mizoram by road so the kaladan river which flows by palettwa right so what what is the overall budget of this kaladan multimodal uh, transit project so the overall budget estimated around 500 million us dollars now uh, the project development consultant for this kaladan multimodal project was inland waterways authority of india so please remember we have a uh, plans of developing inland waterways so because inland waterways are more inland waterways are cost effective okay so they are cost effective they use uh, less of fuel we can transport more and more goods and we can explore the potential of our existing riverine routes so therefore inland waterways authority has already announced different inland waterways in across india for example uh, you know uh, haldia to uh, 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 haldia to haura and uh, so several other inland waterway projects have already announced by the government okay so what is the progress of this sitwe port so sitwe port was inaugurated in may 2023 okay so this port was inaugurated so this was already started operas, operationalizing okay so this was started in the year may 2023 and it was operationalized since then now what are the advantages of having a port like this what are the advantages of sitwe port so transportation of goods from kolkata to aizwal and agartala will incur at least 50 percentage of lesser cost and time okay so it is not just about the connectivity but transportation of goods would be possible with a lesser time and lesser cost so we need to explore such opportunities going ahead so the marine transport will considerably bring down the environmental cost of transport with drop in the fossil fuel carbon emissions as well and there are number of challenges in this regard so what are those challenges uh, in this uh, operationalization of this particular port so funding has been delayed so this is uh, one such problem that india has been facing okay so since we do not have a significant amount of financial resources and we should also have the alternative ways of or alternative funding uh, aspects the funding has been delayed over a period of time and it because of the multiple reasons so for example uh, uh, i have already told you about this rohingya crisis in the rakhine state so uh, this sitwe port is also located in this rakhine state so this rohingya state uh, crisis also jeopardizes the existing project of the kaladan multimodal transit transport project so a recent tripartite conflict between hunta's forces and arakan salvation army and rebels of chin state so this has resulted in 
a civil war like situation in Myanmar so in this specific context uh, we need to talk about the sustenance of this Sitwe port can India really rely on this Sitwe port uh, for the longer periods of time so you know uh, in even India has also not proactively taking any efforts to stabilize the situation in Myanmar so therefore uh, uh, if we set this Myanmar apart but connectivity is very important for the northeast we need to link northeast with the rest of the India in a uh, that is very important in the longer term because I have already told you we have act east policy okay so we have act east policy since we have act east policy we wanted to further expand our relationship with the asian nations it is very important for a country like india to develop northeast so we should not neglect northeast that could further resulting in secessionist movements okay secessionist movements and the problems of insurgency ethnic violence that we see in recently in Manipur and apart from ethnic violence we could also see instability instability in Northeast so that may be uh, you know uh, that may be taken as an opportunity by several non-state actors and state actors state actors for the India's disadvantage so therefore essentially we need to focus on improving the connectivity infrastructure in Northeast so overall as uh, overall uh, objective is development economic growth and greater connectivity to Northeast so that's all about this uh, Kaladan multimodal transit transport project so uh, if you like this video uh, if you really like our work, please like the video and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you have any suggestions, please write those suggestions in the comment section. Thank you.